It's going to be an exciting six months for all Manchester United fans with Ole Gunnar Solskjaer in charge of the club. An attack-minded manager who loves goals, he loves attacking, is going to be a completely different type of manager than Jose Mourinho. And that's something that a lot of United fans have been calling for. But heading into the Cardiff game, Manchester United fans probably don't know what to expect from Solskjaer. So what I'm going to do in this video is take a look back at his career at Mulder, at Cardiff. What did he do? What sort of style of play did he have at both clubs? And what really is his philosophy? And then we'll take a look at what I think would be the best 11 and formation from Solskjaer to get an expressive attacking style of play out of Manchester United. Now, before we get into the video, make sure you subscribe to United People's TV if you're new to the channel. Come on, join the community and get involved. But let's get into it. First things first, what kind of style can we expect from Solskjaer at Manchester United? Now, one look at his press conference that he did when he joined as Cardiff manager will give a real insight into the type of football Solskjaer will want to see at Old Trafford. What about the brand of football you'll play? What can you tell the fans about football? I've got a positive outlook on football, obviously. Uh, you've got a... My wish and my... I want the players to express themselves. They want... They love playing football, want to run forward, want to play forward. That's my brand of football, style of football is forward-minded. And you see the three or four times yesterday when you win the ball, you secure the first pass, you get, get it to Jordan Much, you have Fraser running, you have uh, uh, Noon and Kimbo Young running. They cause Arsenal problems. So forward, forward football, forward passing, forward running. Forward thinking football, forward passing, movement players expressing themselves. It's going to be music to the ears of Man United fans when you think we've got Martial, Pogba, Rashford, Mata, Fred, Sanchez when he comes back as well. There are lots of players in this team who haven't been able to properly express themselves under Jose Mourinho. Pogba probably more than most and Fred as well. Imagine what those two could do in central midfield under Solskjaer. But that's the sort of style that Solskjaer will want to see at Old Trafford. And that's what United fans have been calling for. Now this comes probably as no surprise to anybody, but Solskjaer is an attack-minded coach. Of course he is. He's had a career as a striker. Scored over 100 goals for Manchester United over an 11-year period. At least not that goal in the Champions League final against Barcelona. But Solskjaer wants his teams to attack. And if you look at this video from a training session that Solskjaer did back in Mulder a few years ago, it will really show what he wants his attackers to do. Any fucking chance? Anyone want to shoot? Come on, huh? You're 18 yards away from goal and you keep fucking passing it. <coughs> shoot! You won't ever score a goal if you don't shoot. Finish! Tima, you're here. He's coming towards you. Take it, touch. No, shoot! You're one on one with the keeper there, you're playing with the wall. Shoot! Matias, you dribble two or three, you're here. Shoot! Finish! Shoot! If you get into a situation where you can shoot, you won't score goals without shooting. And Solskjaer, as I said, knows a thing or two about scoring goals. So that's something he's going to want to see from Rashford, Martial, from Mata, from everybody in this team to take more shots. And I think United have been guilty of that. Maybe overcomplicating things. Just shoot. That's what we're going to see under Solskjaer. And I really, really cannot wait to see what happens. Now, if we look at Cardiff and what Solskjaer did there, it's hard to see what sort of style Solskjaer played. He wanted to play that football style that he's been talking about there. The expressive style of play, the forward thinking. He brought in ball playing centre-backs into a Cardiff team that he wanted to transform into a ball playing possession based attack-minded squad. Unfortunately, Cardiff just weren't good enough to play that sort of style of football. You know, there was a game where I think they lost 6-3 against Liverpool. That's the sort of results that Cardiff fans got. They did score some goals, but they conceded plenty as well. And unfortunately, the style of play that Solskjaer really wanted to implement at Cardiff, he didn't have the ability to do it because the squad just wasn't good enough. And for United fans, again, that would be very exciting because we've got a squad very capable of playing that style of football. Free, fast-moving, forward-thinking, attack-minded, goals galore. That's what United fans have wanted for some time. And that's the sort of style of play Solskjaer tried to implement at Cardiff, but unfortunately wasn't able to do. Now, in terms of Mulder, 
that was a place where Solskjaer was really able to implement his style and get the most out of his players. And that's something that Solskjaer really did well. He was renowned for comparing some of his players to Man United legends as a sort of way to make the players feel that they could get better, that they could be better than they were. And it worked. You know, Mulder got back-to-back -back titles in the Norwegian league under Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. That goes to show that given the time and the right situation, Solskjaer can get more out of his players. And that's the main thing that we need at Manchester United between now and the end of the season, just to get more out of Pogba, more out of Fred, more out of Lukaku, more out of the whole squad. And that's something that Solskjaer did at Molde and something that I think he'll be able to do very well at United because of his stature at the club. He's a club legend. He's already got that feel-good factor going into it. And combining that with a set of players who are attack-minded and that have been somewhat shackled under Mourinho for years, releasing them and putting them under Solskjaer, it just seems like a partnership which is hopefully destined to work. And if you take a quick look at Solskjaer's stats in terms of his career as manager at Cardiff and Molde, he scored, you know, his Molde team scored 322 goals in 183 games, but conceded a lot too, conceded 222 goals. So I'm not expecting Manchester United this season to be winning 1-0 in any games under Solskjaer. I think we can expect if we do win, 3-1s, 4-1s, 4-2s, 4-3s, games like that, exciting games. That's what United fans want between now and the end of the season. For me, I don't really feel that Solskjaer can majorly fail at United in this five months. It's like a free hit for him. It's the perfect type of managerial position. United are down in the dumps. We're already 11 points off fourth. We're already 19 points off the top. The failures have already happened this season. Solskjaer's job is just to reinvigorate the squad. And this sort of style, attacking style, getting the goal scorers to score goals, to shoot fast, free flowing football. That's what Solskjaer wants to bring in. That's what United fans want to see. And that is exactly why he's been appointed as manager. But with all of that in mind, looking at you know, what some of the things he's done in the past at Cardiff and Molde, a little bit from Solskjaer and his own philosophy, what would be his best 11 at Manchester United? What would be the formation to get the best attacking football out of this team? In terms of a formation which is going to be expressive and get the most out of this team, for me, it's got to be the 4-3-3. I'm going to run through my 11 and explain why these players in those positions, I feel, will get the most out of this attacking style of football that Solskjaer really wants to bring to Manchester United. And of course, De Gea is in goal. De Gea has had a shaky season so far, but something I really hope that Solskjaer will be able to bring back out of him is better distribution, because United's distribution has been poor out of the back this season. It's a reason why we've come under the cosh so often. We need ball playing, outward playing football from the back. And I think De Gea is going to be key to that. Now, Luke Shaw and Diogo Delot, something I think Solskjaer is really going to bring back to these two is a proper fullback mentality. And when I say that, I mean they're going to play with real width. Going to get the overlapping runs for Martial and for Rashford up front or whoever's playing on the front three. And that is going to bring real width back to this Manchester United team. And we've lacked that for some time. Now, Solskjaer was brought up on a diet of 4-4-2 at Manchester United under Ferguson. I don't think we're going to see 4-4-2. Maybe we will. Let me know what you think in the comments below. But I'm very excited to see what Shaw and Delot can do as proper fullbacks because they have the ability to be excellent modern day fullbacks for United and we can't be playing Ashley Young and Antonio Valencia anymore and that's two players I think that Solskjaer will leave on the bench. Two players I hope he doesn't leave on the bench though are Lindelof and Bay. and I think Lindelof for me is going to be crucial to if, if Solskjaer is successful in implementing this attacking free-flowing style into Manchester United I feel Lindelof's going to be key to that. You know he has improved this season already but I think he's got the potential to really go skywards if he has proper confidence from his manager. And the same goes for Eric Bailly. Eric Bailly, for me, still remains the best potential centre-back at the club. But under Mourinho, he didn't have the confidence to express himself properly. And Solskjaer wants his players to express themselves. Now, Bailly's really got to improve himself. Bailly and Lindelof, both guilty of it, got to cut out the individual errors, but creating a sort of attack-minded philosophy into the team means the ball-playing centre-backs can actually play football. They should have Herrera, Pogba and Fred in front of them in space, willing to receive the ball. And of course, you know, Pogba's going to be the player who everybody is hoping to see improve under Solskjaer. And I really, really think he will be. And that's why I put a midfield three of Herrera, Fred and Pogba. 
Now, the reason I'm doing that is because I'd like to, I'd like to see Herrera play deeper and probably Fred play a bit deeper as well. Because remember, at Shakhtar Donetsk, he did have a defensive quality to his game as well. He wasn't all about just ball playing possession. He had the ability to break up the opposition too, protect his defence and then bring it forward. I want to see Herrera and Fred doing that more under Solskjaer. And by having those two as the foils for our defence, protecting Lindelof and Bay, it will let Pogba properly express himself. I don't think that Solskjaer is going to give any sort of defensive responsibility to Paul Pogba. Don't do it. Let him do what he wants to do. And he wants to attack. He wants to create. Let him do that. And I think that midfield three of Herrera, Fred and Pogba is the best way to get the best out of Fred, who, remember, we haven't really seen that much this season because Mourinho's never trusted him. Solskjaer will. And I think Fred's going to be very exciting. Potentially as well, he could be the player that improves the most. But I want to see more from Pogba too. Everybody does. And I can't wait to see what that midfield three could do. And Matic being left out of it is a key component of it because he's not a player who is about free-flowing, attack-minded football. He's the opposite. He was, one of, he was one of Mourinho's main men. I can't see him being a main man under Solskjaer, and hopefully I'm not wrong about that. And then as my front three, I've got Martial, Rashford and Lukaku. Now Martial, maybe out of all of the squad, he's the one I'm excited to see the most under this Solskjaer attack-minded style of football. He's been excellent this season, as has Rashford. Both of them have had great purple patches under Mourinho, but neither of them are Mourinho types of players as such. Solskjaer is a striker, he's a goal scorer. He must be so excited at having Rashford and Martial in his starting eleven, because Martial is a player in this squad that can create magic out of nothing. And as a player who really hasn't expressed himself properly, he did at the start under Louis van Gaal, he did at points under Mourinho, but he hasn't properly expressed himself in the same way that he did it right at the start of United. I want to see that Martial return week in, week out, and I really think we will see that. And especially when you think about the proper overlapping runs that we'll see from Shaw and lot, it's going to create so much more space for Rashford and Martial, who both are excellent at shooting from outside the box, and that's something that Solskjaer will encourage. So I want to see the same sort of thing from Rashford. It's just, it's just hard not to be excited about our attacking players again now because we're going to see so much more from them and hopefully a lot more goals. Now, the one player I do have question marks about is Romelu Lukaku. I'm not sure how he's going to fit in this system. And I do think that if Alexis Sanchez was fit and ready, I don't think Lukaku would be starting under Solskjaer. But we'll see. Lukaku scored plenty of goals in his first year at United. And Solskjaer knows a thing or two about poaching in the box. So if Lukaku can shed a bit of weight because he has put on too much muscle, needs to improve his movement, Maybe we can see a resurgence from Lukaku too. But then we've also got Jesse Lingard there. We've also got Juan Mata there. And we've got Sanchez coming back in the new year. Attacking options galore. And that's what I think we're going to see from Solskjaer this season. An attack-minded 11. An attack-minded team under an attack-minded manager. Attack, attack, attack is what Old Trafford has shouted so often over the last few years at our team after frustrating performances. I don't think we're going to be singing that anytime soon under Solskjaer. I think one thing we're going to do is attack with real verve. I think we're going to concede a few as well, but it's going to be exciting. Now, that would be my best 11 and formation underneath Solskjaer. What would be yours? Let me know in the comments below. Hopefully, this video showed you a little bit more about what we can expect from Solskjaer. If you did like it, please drop a like on the video as always and subscribe to United People's TV if you're new. Take it easy.